Joining us is Trisha Morton Thomas, creator, writer, and one of the stars of Eight Triple M, all the way from Alice Springs. Thank you for making that trip. Hi, Trish. Oh, no, you're most welcome. It's nice to be here. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did the series originate? Well, we there were a f myself and three friends. We were sitting around at uh, one of one of our houses in the backyard, just having a laugh about our experiences working within Aboriginal organisations in Alice Springs and the craziness that happens in them. And then we saw uh, a call out from the ABC. They were looking for shows that were politically incorrect. So, oh, perfect. Yeah, so we went, hey. you know what, let's just make up this and send it off and see how it goes. And we got a call back saying they were very interested in making the series. Had you had any experience at writing a, a sitcom before? Because the structure of this is so neat. It's almost cute. It's so clever. Uh, so had you, had you worked in this form before? Um, no, not really. I'd written a short drama. Um, I have written a lot in my life, but nothing that, have, you know, that sort of went anywhere, really. I think the, the structure of the show, I think, has a great deal to do with Andrea Denham, who was the script editor. So she, she was phenomenal. And she's from that. Princess Pictures, from I think, Princess isn't she? Princess Pictures, yes. Well, I think we ought to meet the cast members in this gorgeous clip. I think you should. <laughs> I swear I heard a ghost. Well, what will happen to the new bloke if the office isn't? 20 bucks says he's taken by a dingo. Well, I reckon he drinks uranium and fessed ball water. He glows and explodes from the inside. Word. No, Fifty bucks says he gets taken by a fucking crocodile. Sorry, I don't mind. I uh, came straight through. No one in reception. Um, Dave Cross, the new bloke. I'm looking for the general manager, Jake. Oh, Jake. No, no one at the front desk? Not a soul. No one would there be. Oh, 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 no, you did it! You're lucky you're old. No. You're lucky you're old. <laughs> fight, 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 Shut up. fight. <laughs> it's gorgeous. You know that end scene in the tracker where Golpalil walks off, at, you know, really king of the mountain, taking the piss out of the white guys. Mm -hmm. it, it's got those elements in there, but it's done with a great deal of affection, I think. Oh, it, it definitely is. We, were, we weren't trying to hurt anybody in the series. We were just trying to have fun and to, to laugh at ourselves and hopefully that other people will laugh at themselves as well. Well, even the Jeff Morrell character is, is very amusing and uh, you think there might even be some redemption in store for him. Uh, it's great that you've got an actor of his class yeah, and experience. That's what I, I was going to he's, say. He's a terrific I, I'm so actor. glad he rang and insisted that he be on the show. So. Oh, did he really? Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. He rang me up and he was like, really talking and, you know, you need somebody like me. And I was, um, I was like, who is this crazy person? <laughs> but I'm so glad that we... That we sort of swept him up and brought him along because he really does bring some heart to Dave. You said that you wanted... You, there was stuff you needed to get out of you uh, with this series. What sort of stuff? I just... Uh, the, the, the double standards that I think Abri uh, Aboriginal people are placed in, it's like, you know, where... Where it's acceptable for other people to go out and get drunk and fall all over the place, like you see on Melbourne Cup. Right, uh, where really you think, well, they need an intervention. But, uh, you know, th and that's acceptable. But if you found a whole group of Indigenous people doing that, it's constant. Oh, look at them dirty black fellas carrying on the same. And it's, it, you know, I don't want to live in a country like that. I want to live in a country where all of us can walk around freely and happily and not be afraid and not, and not be hurt by other people's judgmental nonsense. Well, yeah, one of the most right? judgmental characters, of course, is um, the Jeff Morrell character. He's also my favourite character. <laughs> I only took this job on to tide me over until the ABC position became available. I, know, I thought it was going to be easy money, but <laughs> you should see what I've got to deal with here. I've been here half a day. Already I've had uh, a cursed office. Scrag fight and this crazy old bird threatening me. You better get used to it. That job's not coming up for six months. What? Hmm? What am I going to do here for six months? I don't think these Aborigines can be trained. Aboriginal people don't like being called Aborigines. Yeah, 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 whatever. Tomatoes, tomatoes. I am Aboriginal. The job will be advertised online. Good afternoon, Dave. Right, my mistake. I was thinking you was a chink. Six fucking months, shit. 
other thing about it is the language in it, every second word is F. <laughs> Yes, we, we try to get Jeff to settle down a bit on it, but... Uh, was Jeff ad-libbing a little bit? Oh, there were a few moments. In the show, I mean, real issues are addressed as well. You know, I mean, not just social issues, but, you know, living issues. Like this scene with uh, Sherry Sevens. What's your mob looking at? You got eyes? Gideon's house is falling down. Point your cameras over there. Not at her big, fat head. Gideon and Petunia have no water and you build a driveway. Babies are getting sliced up on broken pipes and you'll probably just blame it on child abuse. You've renovated my house and I have no drain hole. Which department fixes the fucking drain holes? <laughs> She's terrific. She's very good. Isn't she? Great. She's mm. amazing. She was great in The Gods of Wheat Street, I remember, as well. I think she's great in everything. Yeah, yeah. very, yeah, very strong actor. Really, yes, I'm yeah. very proud of her. It's a very strong scene there, I think, where she's combating the, the mayor and the local bureaucracy. That's obviously a major theme that runs through the uh, entire series. Oh, it's, a, it's a major theme that runs through um, Alice Springs. <laughs> <laughs> so. but, but I, now, this is a totally Indigenous production, is it? It is a first, and I think it's the first time that... Uh, you know, that you will see something like this program. It, it is very different in a lot of ways. It's, it's so lovely. It's got a very delicate touch to it. And the thing that interests me is, OK, you know, this is real life and it's funny, but writing comedy, that leap to actually putting it in a screenplay, is not so easy. Yes, so, so I discovered after a while. It, it, it was three years... Um, developing the scripts and just and, and part of the the hardship in developing the script was that we were working with two very different cultures so it was almost like we in real life we were sitting in 8 triple m as we were writing 8 triple m just not understanding each other's cultures and what could be offensive and what isn't offensive and and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of... I'm going to cop a lot of flack for this comedy, I know it. Are you? There's going to be people, you know, that we're going to have the three M's jumping up and down because they will recognise themselves and they're going to come in pointing and I know I'm going to cop a lot of flack from the Indigenous community, well, from, from some parts of the Indigenous community. But, you know, you expect that when you're making film and television because it's... You know, what, you should, what film and television should be is an... Ex you should be expressing and you should be making social comments and you know yes. it, it, that's what it should be for trish thank you very much for coming down and joining us coming all the way from alice springs and let's let's take a look at a scene to finish with which shows the the clash of cultures in such a wonderfully comic way yeah look out for me you digger day you digger day you digger day you digger day you dig it, eh? You dig it, eh? You dig it, eh? What the fuck was that? Mumbo Jumbo. Hey. You dickhead eye. 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 You fucking mumbo jumbo.